I'm really in. I'm really in. <laughs> what up, bitches? I bet y'all be thinking this is some old video off the hard drive. No. -uh. It's me. I'm riding. Yeah. should be injured. Who shouldn't be riding yet? Ah, fuck it. I'm fine. I'm fine, damn it. Anyways, um, see, I got my, my leathers on right now. I got my track leathers on. I do look sexy in my track leathers, so I'm cool with that. My new, I got some new shiny parts. <laughs> But yep, I'm here, and uh, I'm sure people want me to talk about uh, the crash, so... <laughs> no! Yeah, I will. Fuck it. Um, let's talk about... Well, as there's two different, two different main subjects I can talk about. One, what happened, and two, myself and the bike. And I'm going to assume y'all care about me, so you want to know about me and the bike first, and how I'm doing. Um, like I said, I'm fine. Um, nothing wrong with me I guess okay I got a, my knee skinned and y'all probably all have seen that video let's go where I crashed fuck it yeah so like uh skin my knee y'all know about that I also skinned my hip. That's worse. Oh, if y'all have been noticing my dash has been doing this, it's my battery. I gotta I got actually talk about that in the video because I have an unnormal battery. I see, I don't leave any scrapes in the road. Where did this start at? I really should be saving this for the one where I talk about how I wrecked what the fuck happened. Somewhere right around here. Hmm, it's hard to tell. But let's talk about me, whatever. Um, yeah, my hip's fucked up too. I scratched the hip. And uh, yeah, I got, them, uh, I got bandages on them right now. That's just what I've been doing. I've been like, uh, just keeping some triple antibiotics on it. And uh, beyond that, just, you know, try to doctor it up best I can. I clean it. And... But yeah, like I had a. Uh, Obviously, I ripped a hole through my jeans. Jeans are not the greatest idea. And, uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all say, oh, now you've learned your lesson, though, but <laughs> I'm thick-headed, man. I've done this before. I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to tell you, I basically now have matching scars. I've got my knee and my hip now to match my knee and my hip on my other side. So, uh, yeah. I won't do it again, though. It took twice. It took twice for me to figure it out. And it's like, I knew it first. Like, I just, I don't know. I wanted to get like better gear right after it happened the first time I ever wrecked like that, which I haven't ever talked about in the video. I've talked about uh, my head-to-head -head motorcycle crash. If y'all haven't seen that, it's right there. <laughs> and uh, um, but I know I haven't talked about that one. I'll talk about that one. Y'all want to hear about it? About another crash I was in where I got cut off in traffic as a hit and run. That's how I have my other scars on this side to matching this side. <laughs> Anyway, get on with it, Jake, you fuck ass! Um, yeah. That wasn't it. Okay, my feet weren't on the right spot. Anyway. Uh, blah, 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 words. Get your feet up! Look at my boots! Fucking round boots! Like a fucking pimp! Who does this in, in like race leathers?
No, no. I don't know. Alright. So, before I just run the fuck up out of time and remember to talk about words. Um. Like I said, yeah, myself is whatever. I got some scratches. Finally, let me get to the fucking point of it. Uh. But ultimately, I was okay. It was just like, uh. It'll be some scars, and they'll match my other side, and I'll feel stupid when I see them. But, uh, I got some random bruises, too, all over. You know, like, I was wearing, um, just wearing some, like, boots. They weren't, like, riding boots. They were just, like, some combat-style boots, which is still, they, I, I wouldn't have benefited any more in that wreck from wearing, like, full motocrossers. But it, it's always, always better to wear like a like a race boot. I think motocross boots are the most safest because they have like the super good ankle protection and all that in them. But uh, when it came down, my foot when it hit the ground, it jammed. It like hit my toes. But it didn't jam them. The boot was strong. I mean, the, the rubber is like that thick in that boot, so it's not gonna like fold up. But if I've been wearing tennis shoes, I would have broke some toes. But my foot has been a little bit sore. It's been all right. You can't cry about it, though, when you're a dude. You just gotta be like, ah, I'm alright, even though it does suck a bit, you know, but... Um, there's a few other little weird bruises all over, but, you know, that's to be expected. Um, how about my gear? Well, I think that wreck is, like, a testament to what good gear can do and what bad gear can do all in one wreck. <laughs> Only the Garden Snake brings you these kind of lessons like that. You know, how can I two-for-one a wreck... Well, like, you seen my upper torso was fine. I didn't have anything going on there. The, uh, I did get, like, a little bit of something on my forearm, but it's actually high enough up that I don't think it's, like, the jacket. I don't think it pulled back. I think what happened was, uh, I think it was, like, just, like, it's like a rug burn effect you can get. You can even get them with like leathers, you know. Highway wheelies. Yeah, I'm wheeling. I'm wheeling. <laughs> well, let's see who my real subscribers are. Um, but you know, ultimately that that jacket, even though it was like a mesh jacket, it held up for that wreck. It's actually shittily that's been in a wreck before, too. Now we'll go this way. But the, uh, I won't wear it again. It's it's done now. But it did work. It's got huge, like I said, back and protection in the shoulder. It's actually got really good padding in it. And uh, it held up. It did fine. Like I said, I'm not going to wear that one again. Um, Jeans, there you go, that's your other end of it. I should know better, like I said, I'm fucking, whatever. And, and uh, <laughs> Chuckles85, this guy, um, kept telling me, uh, a moth just hit my, oh, it was, a, it was a butterfly, I mean. Poor butterfly, <laughs> he just died on my helmet. If it had just been like a fucking mosquito or something, I'd be like, ah, good, but, all right, anyway. Um, but yeah, Chuckles told me, wear your fucking riding pants. He's always giving me shit in the video when I'm just wearing like jeans and uh, yeah, you're right, buddy. Sorry. Um, but yeah, and then that was that was that. My gloves, I you know I might replace them, I might not. I really surprisingly didn't like really have run on them, you know. Like thought I would have. They're Alpine Star gloves, or you know I've wrecked in some Alpine Star gloves before, and they just they work great. They're fucking. Um, they, they've done good for me, so I don't know. Do not enter. I think I'm going to enter this way. Oh, I don't care what they say. I'm a rebel. Yeah. Oh, man. Look how rebellious I am. This was so worth it. <laughs> okay. Savvy guys. And then, um, let's see, the other bit to say is my helmet. Um... I said in the video that my helmet hit the ground pretty hard, but it actually was just the visor. I haven't replaced it yet. I need to, but it's like 
I wouldn't even ever really need to because it's like out of my like peripheral vision. Like I can barely see it on my peripheral. There's like some scratches to the visor. The hard cling I felt was, you can see the one notch right here, the notch on the other side. That was a piece that it got grinded on you. It was like, cause I could feel it. It was like, and I was like, oh God, my helmet. I just bought this helmet. But as it turns out, it was just uh, that little notch is mostly gone now. And uh, so I'll, I'll probably replace this visor. But the helmet's fine, thank God. <laughs> I just bought this damn thing. All my accessories on my helmet were fine. Um, and what about my bike? Who everyone keeps asking what her name is. You know, I used to call my bike Black Betty because I like that song. Yeah, oh, Black Betty. Blah, blah, blah. But um, Spicy definitely calls his bike Betty. So I don't know if y'all want to name it, name it. Just vote for the best name. Um, but my, my my bike, my dirty old slut. She uh. She's fine. <laughs> uh, the bars were like probably slightly like tweaked right after the wreck, and all I had to do was loosen up these uh, the tri the uh, the triple clamps, and then it'll actually like yeah, as, as you're like loosening like the last bolt, you'll always see them they kind of twist. That's what happened. They just twisted. These are pro tapered bars. They're really fucking beef. I I don't I don't know I don't know what it would take to fucking break these things because their bike just never does. They never seem to want to bend them. All the shit they've been through. So, God, this has gone on way too long talking about this. Just having fun. It's, it's what I do. It's what I do. Sword lighting. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's it's okay. Um, so I bought some new handguards for it. Uh, I'll probably bend one of the, the pegs back out a little bit. It's like a little bit dented in. Or I might just buy new pegs. I've been wanting to for a while. Um, yeah, it's fine. The skateboard wheel, skateboard wheel thing, people always ask me what I was talking about when I said that. Um, it's got like axle sliders that are skateboard wheels. I actually haven't replaced that one yet. Let's see if I can like, I'll stop here. I'll see if I can make it so you can see it. You can see it's like, it's scuffed up, but it just protects the axle and the bottom of the fork tube. It's just the main things it slides on it, like these and the sliders down there, so. It worked out good, everything's fine. I'm fine. I'm not gonna keep wearing track leathers every day, even though I look sexy as shit in them. I know probably a lot of people go, oh my god, of course you better. But trust I got some new gear coming, and it's good. Um, it, pants and, god dang it. Pants and jacket, so. All right, you'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll make a video when I get those.